Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is May 1st, 2017, and today is Monday morning. So looking at the economic calendar today, just a few things coming up. Um, really just two things really coming up. 135 South African time. That's going to be a Treasury Secretary will be speaking out of the United States. So it isn't a major, major number, but it's, you know, if there's some surprises, definitely things can be shaken and moved in the market. And then at 4 o'clock South African time, uh, coming to the United States, ISM manufacturing number, it's more, mostly an inflationary number, uh, but as the same case with the, the Treasury Secretary. It's not a major number, but if it does shake things, if, it does, if there are any surprises, definitely can move the market. So it's good to know what's going on. But mostly this week, you have to keep in mind that we are having the storm of all storms, a perfect storm this week. Three major events this week coming out, starting with this Wednesday, FOMC number coming out um, on Wednesday afternoon, South African time, uh, Wednesday evening, excuse me, South African time. We'll have the exact time and date on that day. And then on Friday, NFP number, it's the first week of May. And then on Sunday, it's the elections coming out of the France. Okay, so last elections in France, the primary elections were major numbers, as you remember, uh, and it did shake the market. So, you know, these three events are major. So it's good to know that we're heading into those numbers. So we may see a little choppy market, may see a little unvolatile market. We may see just quiet before the storm. So just, it's good to know that these things are coming up. We're going to have a special daily review on Wednesday morning. We're going to have a live review and we're going to go and discuss these three events on how to trade them uh, and what's going on. So keep posted for our invitation in our mailer. Uh, so looking at the markets before we do, we're looking here at the EURUSD. So EURUSD is selling off at this 109.45-ish level. A little bit of a resistance level developing here. I think we're going to have this 109.45. I'm going to trade between this 108.70 level. I think these are the new trading ranges between them. Uh, on the upper limits, 109.45 and 107.97 on the lower limits. Above it, of course, is a little bit hard to say. Uh, maybe 109.76-ish level. But I think we're, you know, we're finding a new trading range here uh, before there's any major move in either direction. So keep an eye on this as it, you know, unfolds this week, certainly next week with the French elections, a week from today uh, after the French elections. Next uh, Sunday, I believe, is the French elections. So keep an eye on this, okay? This is really important. GBP USD trading up, up at its resistance level, 129.26. You know, we're selling off here. This is to be understood. We had this previous support level, um, and this is this is subsequent resistance. So if it does break out above it, we definitely could see 130, 131-ish level. Uh, and so it's something to keep of note because this has been really strong. You're looking at the USD Japanese yen. Yen wakening here uh, at this 111 area. We have this upper limit of 115, lower limit 108, and we're trading right in the middle of that. So, you know, we're still above the 30-day average and the 14-day average, way above it. Um, so, we might see a little bit of a sell-off as we, you know, come closer to this, you know, 111-ish, 112-ish level, uh, more more like this 112-ish level and see a little bit of a sell-off. Uh, but it definitely looks like it's changing course and heading upwards. So keep an eye on this. Aussie USD really weak, uh, breaking this 75 support level. Uh, we look like we're bouncing here. may see a sell-off, a further sell-off. So it might be a good place to actually look to short it. Looking at gold. Okay, gold is trading at 1262. And it looks like it's getting weaker. Okay, it's not weak, but it's getting weaker. And a lot of uh, taking profits here from our high of 1297-ish level. Uh, and we're heading closer to this 1255-ish level. Uh, a little bit of a support here at 1260. Uh, but keep an eye on this as uh, this unfolds later in this week. Now, the major story this week is the JSE, the Dow Jones, and the DAX, all hitting, you know, resistance level, all having a nice bull run last week. We're looking here at the at the JSC. Now this is a weekly um, this is a weekly chart. 
Uh, and as you can see, it's trading closer to its upper range, 47, 635, not in its high range, but in its upper range, and breaking up above, above it. It looks like it's in a double pot top. Here in the daily, you can see that we've hit this level uh, at 47, 635 once before, and that we're having a little bit of a challenge breaking above it. What I'd like to see is an extended gains in this to see some sort of breakout. So I'll look for this this week to see if we do get that confirmation. Dow Jones selling off a little bit from our all, you know, our weekly high, not all-time highs, but our weekly high of 20,897. We hit this 20,984 last week, and just taking, you know, a hundred point, um, you know, step backwards after having something like a 700 uh, point run. So very well expected. I'd like to see this extend its gains. You know, they say generally sell in May and go away uh, as we enter the summer trading, which is usually quite, you know, quiet. Uh, but I think this year we're going to see a lot of volatility and a lot of things, you know, still happening uh, well into May. So keep an eye on this as this unfolds. Of course, the DAX hit all-time highs last week, as we can see here. Uh, but it is hitting a double top. So just be careful, uh, you know, to chase it at these levels uh, to, you know, if you do decide to short it at the top of the level, just make sure that you put your stop losses you know, accordingly. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.